even put my shoes on yet. And to make that even better, I don't even have any socks with me. <laughs> oh God. What's going on guys? I just got off the phone with Paul. You guys don't know who Paul is, Paul Farrell. It's like my big brother, coolest guy ever, great YouTuber. Um, I'm, we're trying to make plans to go to his house soon, but it's been a rough day. If I, if I said it was a rough day, that's actually kind of an understatement. I locked my keys in my truck last night and then lost my main set of keys. So uh, I had a locksmith come out today. If you follow me on Instagram, you might know that. But we're at Killer Fish Farms. We're gonna buy ourselves some frogs. So I'm gonna shut up, let's do it. Let's make sure I have my key. Yeah, okay, all right, that's good. Nice and humid in here. Real, real humid. Ooh, I love this place. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what's those, are those clown knives? Look at that clown knife. Peacock, look at that peacock bass. Those are albino clown knives, by the way. Albino red tail catfish. Just doesn't look like a red tail catfish to me at all. But I, I'm definitely down to get one if it is. I really gotta find that out. A gold albino clown knife, and oh, those are tiger shovel nose. Stay back, please. Absolutely love the peacocks. <gasps> hey there. Hey. That is so cool. Big old albino Oscar. You don't normally see albino Oscars say, it's like stay this white. Normally they get a lot of orange on them. That's really cool though. If he's still here when I come back next, we're definitely gonna get him. All right, I'm in the big fish room, so cue the edit. So this is the outside fish room. This room is basically for a bunch of fish that aren't temperature sensitive. That means they can keep them outside. They're not, I mean, you don't have to have a completely set temperature to keep them alive. Goldfish, koi, things like that. A lot of your more decorative fish compared to exotic fish. But they got a bunch of koi in here. Look at these guys, watch this. Look at that guy. Ew. Bunch, a bunch of koi. I mean, they've got koi on koi. Look at these goldfish. Look how pretty those goldfish are. They got more goldfish in here. Look at all the little feeders. A little bit of some bigger feeder goldfish, things like that. Tubs on tubs on tubs of koi. Look at these goldfish. Look at that guy. So cool. They got some small koi. Oh, those are such pretty koi. I really want to come here and get some of these koi for the mini pond. We got a big koi right there. Look at him. Hey. I feel like he'll try and eat my finger. Look at that. He's sucking on my finger. Pretty cool stuff and next to that they have a tank room and it's gonna be a little echoey in here and the lights just aren't on Is there a light, light switch? Oh Dang they sold this tank. I was gonna buy a tank right here. It was a uh, 180 160 with this stand and a bunch of lights and stuff like that, but I guess they sold it I've been looking at getting something like this too Really nice tank, but I'm a pretty big fan of this place the reason I kind of do a tour every time I come here now of course today is going to be a lot more than a tour, but they always they always have something new. I did my first meetup ever here, and a bunch of people showed up because they have really good prices here. So if I'm gonna tell anybody to go anywhere, it's gonna be where I think they're gonna get the best deals. This is definitely a good place. I'm not like BSing you. They don't promote me, give me free stuff. I just genuinely like it. But we've got to get some plants for the pond. We're not gonna do that today because of course I don't live in my house right now. But these are the plants that I'm gonna come get. I'm gonna get some water lilies like these. Definitely a bunch of these guys. But I'm, I'm super stoked for all that. I have some of these right now but I gotta get, I gotta get a bunch more. Look at the fancy guppies. Oh my goodness. And this is what we're here for. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Albino frogs. Albino frogs. So cool. Gonna get three of them. Maybe four, maybe four, I don't know. But I think we're gonna do three. All right. Perfect. All right, good to go. Yeah, that's the dress code. Okay. <laughs> we also got some blood worms for these guys to eat. So it's hot outside, my truck's really hot. Oh my gosh. We are going to make it back to the current place I'm staying, which is my shoes. Which is Nate's house where my frog tank 
is located. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, we are here. Now you guys can kind of see there's some stuff on the bottom. Y'all are probably wondering what that is. That's just from these plants because the light didn't happen to be on and the died. So I'm gonna run and get some plants after I'm done with this video, which will be in the next video. And I'm gonna get a siphon. I'll just suck that out. That's nothing bad. It can't hurt the frogs. They could probably eat it and literally be fine. But it's just stuff from the plant. So I'll siphon that out so you guys can see that in the next video. But we're gonna acclimate these guys. They don't really need to be acclimated long. But we've got three albino frogs, so that's pretty cool. Okay, they've been acclimated. It is time to take them out. We're just gonna open this bag up a little bit. Get all the water out. Now we just have the frogs. Set that right there. And they're in. Boom, three albino frogs in the tank. Now, yeah, don't, this plant stuff makes it look like this tank is bad. It is perfectly fine. It's not gonna hurt them. It's literally just part of this plant and it happened to die. So I am gonna get some more of these plants back here. That plant's still doing good. And then we're just gonna literally use the siphon and clean that up off the bottom. But these guys, they're pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Hey there, little fella. But with that being done for for the video, I want to show you the tank I helped Nate's brother set up, which is in his room. Which is this tank right here. I set this up completely other than a few of these plants. Got him the filter, pop, and the light, and then this big thing in the middle. And he's got a platy in here. He's got a gourami in here. He's got some serpe touchers back there. Man, nothing fin nips anything. Everything is doing amazing together. This thing is pretty much silent, too. I absolutely love it. But, like, look at this tank. It's it's sick. I like that gourami up there, too. I mean, I'm not the biggest gourami guy, but that one looks pretty good in this tank. And yeah, there is five or six serpe touchers in here, and there is a platy hiding around. And you guys can see that other gourami right there, but there's a bunch going on in here. It's really cool. I like the tank a bunch. We set it up about, I want to say, three or four weeks ago, and this is what it looks like after that amount of time. So pretty, look at the lighting. Whoa. So pretty sick if you ask me. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my goodness. If you guys don't remember the pond videos building this pond at uh, Nate's house, Building another pond. Yeah, they were some good, uh, they were some good videos. Jake Juan! Ah! <laughs> Jake Juan! Ah! This is a four foot deep pond, and what I need from this right now is my pump. These aren't very inexpensive, and these are all my, oh. Oh no, that, well, there's, there's a hole in it. There's a hole in it now. There's def definitely a hole in it now. This is, this is my pump. Um, oh yeah, wow. So I looked for that for about three months, and I just remembered that it was in there. That's a 1,500 gallon per hour pump. 1,500 gallon per hour. Those are not cheap at all, and I left it in this pond. This isn't even being used. Nate wanted to put bass in here, and I said, yeah, you could if you just put like a few and had a waterfall and everything like that, but no, 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 no. This is bad. If somebody wants to PayPal me 50 bucks, I'll jump in this. My PayPal is linked in the description. No, I'm just kidding. But also one other thing I wanted to mention, if you're a company or you own a company and you're watching these videos, I get a lot of companies who email me asking about things. I have no problem if you guys are interested in like sending me products and I like them. If I don't like the products, I'm not gonna put them in the video because I'm not gonna promote something I don't like. But if you have something you want me to try and you think is good quality, you can reach out to me at my email that's linked in the description and send me it. I have no problem testing it out because I've been getting a lot of those recently and uh, I've got a lot of people shipping stuff right now, so I'm excited for that. So I just wanted to mention that's definitely a possibility that I could totally do stuff like that. That's if you own a company or sell products by any chance. But I did want to come out and show you guys the uh, beautiful masterpiece that we built. I'm not gonna lie, there's some pretty funny videos and they were kind of a fun pond build. They didn't do very good on YouTube, but it happened and I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was kind of cool. Well, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment below if we should turn Nate's swimming pool into a pond. No, I'm just I'm kidding. But yeah, that's about all for today's video. If you guys wanna buy some Fanatic merchandise, like this is the Bass Fanatic one. Crazy cool design on the back, I absolutely love it. You guys can get that at the top link in the description. You can also follow me on Instagram at fanatic.media. Follow my ducks on Instagram if you haven't seen any of the duck videos somehow, at Penelope underscore brownie. And if you guys liked today's video, go ahead, click the like button, share it if you want somebody else to see it. And other than that, I will catch you next time on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.